the 4045 um, on it, it handles 520 feet of pipe on board. Okay, it has basically what we try to do is keep a uniform in the operators. So when, as the contractors want to grow in machine size, they can transition from one machine to the X with minimal learning curve. So they can essentially sit on the 2024, then move right to the 4045 and everything operates the same. It has a removable pipe basket. So if you're on longer bores than 520 feet, we can remove that basket and put a new basket of 52 pieces of pipe back on okay. and continue on our bore. DD 4045 is 40,000 pounds of push and pull, 4,500 foot pounds of rotary torque. The 2024 is 20,000 pounds of push and pull, 2,400 foot pounds of rotary torque. 4045 has a 75 gallon a minute pump on it versus the 30 gallon a minute pump on here. So that allows us to pump a high volume of mud downhole for those larger pull pipe installations. So let us finish our job and, and, and install larger pipes than what, uh, what this 20 would do. We also have what the, a twin open top vices. This allows the operator full visibility into the drill pipe when making it up and breaking it out. Um, Operator levers for the uh, auger stake down to hold the front of the machine down, all at the operator's uh, leverage right here. Um, automatic greaser. This uh, lubes the threads on the pipe. So when you make up a breakout, it gives longevity to the threads. And then the one thing you see is on the boom is foot rack and pinion. The, with the rack, with the gear rack being welded on both sides, low ma there's no maintenance to this at all. This gives a nice smooth operation when you're installing and pulling pipe out of the ground. The pipe loader holds 40 pieces of 2.06 drill pipe, one piece forge. Um, it uh, the carriage is a four drive pinion or four pinion drive carriage. It has a pinion drive on each corner of the carriage. It allows a nice, even pull, spreads the load out over four equal points. Our track drive is driven off the front of the, the tracks. This keeps a nice, steady tension on the track. So as you're moving in and out of uh, ditches, uneven ground, it keeps tension on there to reduce the ability to those tracks to come off. We move on back to the rear of the machine. We have dual independent rear stabilizers. This allows us to adjust the machine on uneven ground to make it level. We have a 74 horsepower uh, tier four I Cummins diesel um, with a 30 GPM, 1500 PSI mud pump on board. On the rear, we have a tram controller, 25 foot tethered cable. This allows us to have full visibility of the machine while we're walking it around. And it keeps us away from the machine for safety reasons when we're unloading and unloading on a trailer. One of the neat key features of this machine is also what we call the life jacket. This allows us to run the machine from a mechanical standpoint life jacket for safety purposes. This allows us to continue to work the machine uh, in a safe manner if there's any uh, issues throughout the electronics of the machine. From a safety standpoint, safety is number one feature for Toro. We have a pedestrian guard. This allows us to keep people at a safe distance while the machine's being operated. And speaking in line with the safety, this is, uh, we have our S-lock, which is short for exit side lockout. This allows us to disable the hydraulics of the machine while we're changing tooling on the drill string or while we're in some sensitive areas around a uh, products into the ground that we're crossing over or under so we don't hit them. We can disable the machine so that, that before the accident happens. 